when you look at all the cap space that they do have to move things around, it's like a puzzle. It's like playing Tetris. How, yes. how are they going to go about doing that? Do you think? It's going to be tough. And they're about $50 million over the cap right now. Russ Ball, who I mentioned earlier, who's their director of football ops, one of the three head guys in charge, along with Brian Gutekunst and Mark Murphy. He's the cap guy. So he's going to have to figure out how to make it work. Extensions for Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams could, could help get them under the cap this year. Extension for Jair Alexander. But regardless of what they do, they're going to have to cut a couple key guys. And, and that could start with Zedarius Smith, um, their second team all pro from two years ago, who was injured all of this season. That would free up about $16 million in cap. I mentioned Mason Crosby, who's kicked for them in every single game since 2007. Um, they could cut him. He missed 10 field goals this year in the regular season and playoffs, though not all his fault. Billy Turner, their right tackle, who was playing near a Pro Bowl level, they could cut him too. Randall Cobb as well. Uh, cutting him would free up about $7 million in cap space. Then they'd have to restructure a couple contracts like Aaron Jones, Preston Smith, Kenny Clark. So there are a lot of decisions to be made. It's going to be an extremely busy offseason for the Packers, not just with Aaron Rodgers, but with every other aspect of their roster, because they need to make space to, you know, franchise tag Devontae Adams, possibly re-sign Devondre Campbell, who is a first team all pro middle linebacker for them this year. Maybe even Rasul Douglas, who is a really good cornerback for them. So they, I mean, they have to get under the cap by March 16th to start a free agency. So those moves should be coming. What's today, February 18th, when we're doing this, a lot of those moves will come in the next two, three weeks. Uh, so I would expect a flurry of those soon. I'm just trying to enjoy my, my downtime until they start happening. Yeah. It must be a scary time to be on the Packers team. Just knowing the chop and block is coming and it's right. literally less than a month away for them to get to that point.